Was the Roman Emperor Caligula a victim of bad PR? The Roman Emperor Caligula has been associated with, shall we say, some very extravagant things. And there's no doubt that some of these occurred, but some of them seem to have been a bit exaggerated or at least taken the wrong way, possibly even fabricated. Before we start, it's important to understand perhaps our main source for Caligula, Suetonius, a person who loved telling extravagant and big stories about the emperors, and after all, who was writing some 80 years after Caligula's death. But anyway, let's talk about some of the things that he says that Caligula did or was going to do. I'll start with one of the main ones, the whole horse thing. So apparently Caligula was going to make his horse consul, and people have taken that literally, but I think that was a bit tongue-in-cheek. It's probably more a comment about how bad or ineffective the Senate were. You know, I would rather make my horse consul. I mean, it will get the same job done. The second one is about him and his sisters. I'll leave it at that. Well, this is an allegation that often comes up historically. Generally speaking, you can always attack a Roman emperor through how he orientated himself with his wives, mothers, sisters, that kind of thing. And Suetonius makes this allegation about Caligula, but it's not picked up by Tacitus, who does write about Agrippina, who was Caligula's sister. When he talks about Caligula's, or writes about Caligula's sister Agrippina, when she is the mother of Nero and married to Claudius, doesn't mention it at all. It's not saying it didn't happen, but it would have been a very opportune thing to have mentioned. Finally, the whole seashells thing. So if you weren't aware, there was a story about Caligula going on campaign, he goes to Germany, and then he goes to the beach, and makes all his men pick up seashells, and claims a victory over Neptune. Well, there may be a bit of a mistranslation going on here, because seashells might actually relate to military equipment, either how the Romans camped, or even perhaps even the, the siege equipment they may have used. Point being is it may have been a nickname that was then perhaps deliberately misunderstood by Suetonius. Perhaps then what we have Suetonius doing is exaggerating and taking things a bit too literally, because after all, it's a great story. There's no doubt that Caligula did some very excessive and very, very strange things. And of course, in that environment, it's very easy to put those things, take them slightly out of context and convince people that he did more unusual things. Anyway, let me know what you think.